What's up watchers, Will here with a Deadpool 2 theory for you and for this video we are talking about Cable. So if you are unfamiliar with the character, Nathan Summers aka Cable is the child of Scott Summers and Madeline Pryor, the Jean Grey clone. As a child, he was infected with a techno-organic virus, which is why it looks like he's a cyborg in the trailer, but in his comic version it was a move on part of Apocalypse so that Nate was rendered incapable of defeating him. He was saved by being taken 2,000 years into the alternate future of Earth 4935 by the clan Ascani, one of which, the mother Ascani, was a time-displaced version of his half-sister Rachel Summers. God, this is complicated. Anyways, in the trailer, we clearly see Cable interacting with Deadpool, so all of that detail was basically to set up the question of, how can Cable travel back in time to get to Wade? Now. I'm going to avoid going all hybrid theory and super science for this, and rather just see if we can find any sort of evidence from the comics that can give us a hint as to how he got to our time. One idea I have is that, kind of like in his origin to send him forward, Rachel Summers could be the one that sent him back. If they are sticking to his very weird, complicated backstory, it's not outside the realm of possibility that the mother Ascani used her time traveling abilities to send Cable back in time to when the movie is set so that he can carry out this mission with Wade and possibly save some sort of future. The movie can also pay homage to X-Men 92 and have Cable's computer, which contains a historical database allowing him to teleport and time travel amongst other capabilities. I wouldn't put it past them to make a more compact device like a data pad or something smaller like a smartphone type device that allows him to travel back and forth through time and that is how Cable could get to our time. There's also the possibility of them incorporating one of the temporal displacement harnesses from the comics, like the split second temporal displacement and loop temporal displacement harness. It may not be those specifically, but a version based off those two harnesses allowing Cable to move back and forth between the past and the future. The only other possibilities I can consider are a mutant, or Cable himself, has chronokinetic abilities. There have been some instances where Summers himself has been able to achieve chrono skimming, which gives him similar time traveling abilities to Rachel Summers. Honestly, the trailers are doing a good job at not being explicit in how he gets to our time, so there's a host of possibilities with how much time hopping there is with the X-Men. Who really knows? But I want to know what you think down in the comments below. How do you think Cable was able to travel through time for Deadpool 2? While you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Hybrid Network. And check out our website and Patreon for more content. I'm Will, and I'll see you next time.